What's up, my YouTube fam? Today we are doing a creamy, cheesy, delectable pasta dish. Easy, simple is what? You guessed it. One, two, three. Let's get into it. Hello, my YouTube fam. On today's menu, we are going to make a shrimp and sausage Cajun pasta. Here is all of the main ingredients that you would need. I'm using the penne. I got me some mixed garlic over there, half and half. Velveeta cheese. I got some broth, some chicken broth. I got butter, shrimp, red bell pepper, kielbasa sausage, tomato, fresh broccoli, and some onion. Let's get into the recipe. All right, my YouTube fam, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. I missed you guys so much, but I am back like I never left. Today, again, we are going to make a shrimp and sausage Cajun pasta. It's so simple, it is so quick, it is so flavorful, it is so easy. So I already showed y'all the ingredients that we are using. Um, so what you wanna do is just grab your favorite pan, and the first thing we are going to do is drop in our butter. This is real, use real butter, y'all, if you can. Don't use margarine, use real butter. Okay, so. <clears throat> we are going in with one whole stick. Booyah. One whole stick of butter. And today, I have my fire on like a, it was high. I'm turning it down, y'all, to like a medium high. Okay. And don't worry if your butter, don't panic if your butter is brown and brown butter tastes good. Don't panic. So what I'm using, I'm going to use this today too, y'all, because I don't want to scrape y'all ears off. So I'm going to see how this works for me. So it won't be all that scraping. So, okay, so my butter is nice and melted. So now I am going to go in with my red bell peppers. Oh, yeah. And I'm also going to go in with my ooh, onion. And I am going to let the bell peppers and the onion cook down until they are nice and soft. I am going to let them cook down in this beautiful brown butter. And when these are nice and soft to where I want them, I don't want them mushy, I want them nice and tender and soft. So when they get to that point, I will be back to show you guys the next step. Okay fam, I am back. And this is exactly how I want my red bell peppers and onions to look. They are not completely mushy, but they are nice and soft. They've cooked in the butter nice and good. So now, I do need my little spatula, y'all, just for this part. I am going to scoop these out. And I got a little pan right here where I'm going to be putting my cooked stuff. Okay, get this out. And what we're going to do next is start to cook our meat, which is not going to take long at all. And also, do you guys see all that nice seasoned butter in the pan? Leave it. Do not dump this out. We are cooking with this butter throughout the complete video. Save the butter. Now, come in with, ooh, come in with your sausages. And 
and we are going to let these bad boys brown up nice and good. Let these bad boys brown up. And then after these brown up nice and good, we're going to take these out and then we're going to dump in our shrimp and brown our shrimp up nice and good. And then after that, it's going to go real fast, y'all. We're going to build up this delicious pasta. So these are not going to take long at all. These are the fully cooked kielbasa sausage. And I just want to get a brown on these. See how quick that's browning? Just want to get these a little brown. Mm -hmm. Just want to get a little brown. Hope everyone is doing great out there. Thank you for coming back to watch your girl chef it up. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe, comment, like, share these videos. I would highly appreciate it more than you'll ever know. And watch the whole video through, you guys. That is also a huge help as well. I would really appreciate that. And plus, if you don't watch it all the way, you will be missing some important steps. Don't be trying to just come on and see uh, what ingredients you need to skim to the end to see that good plate. Y'all better watch these steps. <laughs> okay, so these are almost nice and brown. Listen, and if you are on a diet, this is the wrong video for you. This just might be the wrong one for you because listen, we about to be cooking with cream, we cooking with butter. Pasta is just, it's definitely not a diet dish y'all. Okay, so these just got a nice little brown on them. You know, you don't want to cook the flavor out. These got a nice little, nice little sear. So, see how quick that was? See, this got a nice little sear on it. See if I can bring it up to y'all without making a mess. See, a nice little sear. So, I'm going to put those in my back pan also. Look at that. That butter that we started with, y'all, that butter is just, it's just building up flavor. This butter is so flavorful right now, it's crazy. See, that's what helps make your dish. The flavors. All right. And I'm going, the shrimp, I'm about to sear these bad boys off real quick. Because they go probably, you know, they go cook more once they uh, hit the sauce. So, I don't want to overcook my shrimp. So, I'm going with a little bit of shrimp. Already cleaned, already washed, already devanged. Yeah, these a little tall. And use as much shrimp as you guys would like. I'm not making a huge pot of this today. Um, but you definitely can use larger shrimp if you want. I'm using what I have available in the freezer. So, you could use chicken. You could really freak this recipe. You can use whatever meat you like. Let them sear off for just a couple of minutes more. Smelling real good in here. Mm. 
And you guys, don't forget to comment. Let me know what recipes or what how-tos or if you want to know how I specifically make something. Just um, put it down in the comments below. You know, y'all got to let me know what y'all want to see. Y'all let me know what y'all want to see. I can continue to make y'all happy. Okay, so we're going to let these go for about a minute more. Yeah, I don't even know. I want to turn these, pop these joints right in my mouth right now. Shrimp and butter, sauteed shrimp and butter. It's just something about it. Something about it, y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. It smells so good, y'all. It's crazy. So I already got my um, penne noodles. is already uh, boiled over there waiting. So once I take these shrimp out, this recipe is going to go very quick. It's so easy. I say that all the time because people make cooking like so hard. It don't even have to be that hard. It really don't. Okay, so I'm taking these out right now because like I said, I don't want my shrimp overcooked and they are going to cook some more once I add them to the sauce. So, let's get started on our sauce, y'all. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Are you excited? Okay. Now look, our one stick of butter carried us all the way. Look at that. We are we don't need no more butter. This is good. Now, to the butter, we are going to add some minced garlic. I got a little bit in here. I'm not gonna need a lot. Yeah, that's more than enough. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Getting all my minced garlic. Let's give this a stir. Mm -hmm. We're going to toast that for another 20 seconds. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Yes, sir. Now, Let's go in with our half and half. If you do not have half and half, you can use whole milk. If you do not have any milk or half and half, you can use just chicken broth. If you do not have chicken broth, you can use water. It's all about the seasoning. If you don't want to use water, you can make yourself a roux out of water and flour. There's ways around it. So, I am not measuring this at all. I'm just using the rest of whatever was left in that container. Just like that. I'm going to give this a nice stir. So now you got your cream, your butter, your minced garlic. Now let's start melting this cheese up in here. And I am using Velveeta cheese. Y'all know the block? That Velveeta cheese. I love the way it melts. I love the way it tastes in certain dishes. And and I really don't want this is not a like this is not Alfredo. So I really don't want this pasta super duper cheesy. That's why I'm about to cut it with some chicken broth. So I think I'm gonna let that melt up like that. Let me wash my hands. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna let this cheese melt down into this cream sauce. And then I'm gonna be back to add a little bit of chicken broth because I know this is gonna thicken up and I really don't want a thick, cheesy pasta. So, see that's melting, see how easy? That's melting real good. So y'all, let me melt down this cheese and I will be back. All right, y'all, I am back and my cheese is nice and melted. Make sure you guys got a good angle. All right, so my cheese is nice and melted. So now what we are going to do, I'm gonna turn my fire down a little bit more. Now it's on low, so now, Let's get the seasoning this sauce up. What y'all thought? Y'all now y'all know I was coming with some seasonings. Come on now. Now you can season your meat. You know, as you're stir frying your vegetables and your meat, you can season it, you know, as you go. But I like it better when I just season the sauce and then I'm gonna toss everything up in the sauce. You guys will see. So let's start with some. Let's, I'm turning the fire down even more low. All the way as low as it could go because I do not want my cheese to burn and let's go in with some garlic powder I'm not measuring I'm eyeballing y'all know I just eyeball everything so boom let's go in with some oh can you see Jamaican jerk seasoning see those bits and chunks of that oh it's about to be bomb okay we got some Jamaican jerk seasoning not too much now not too much now I also want this to have kind of like a smoky spicy type of flavor so I'm going in with some all-purpose uh, bold and smoky seasoning that's gonna give it a real nice smoky flavor I'm also going to go in with some onion powder. I'm also going to go in with, of course, a little bit of Cajun seasoning because we are making a beautiful Cajun pasta. Booyah! Just like that. We are also gonna go in with some Creole. Flavor, flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor, baby, let me tell you. Now, see this is really thick. Not too thick, but I want it even more thinner. I want this thinned out a little bit more. So let me stir these seasonings up in here. chicken broth I'm going to eyeball this as well okay all right just about that much we'll see how that works out okay. give that a nice good stir Let's add in our beautiful peppers and onions. Let's add in our shrimp. Let's add in our sausage. Make sure we get all that residual butter sauce. Drip it right on there. All right, let's give this a nice toss. Yes, yes, yes! 
I'm so excited to eat this, y'all. Give it a nice stir again. Be careful not to make a mess. Stir carefully because you don't want to waste none of your ingredients. You want all new flavors. In your mouth. In your mouth. In your mouth. Oh yeah, this is looking great. So, don't panic if your sauce looks, you know, Thin, a little thin to you because it is going to thicken upon standing. So we are going to let this simmer with the lid on. Get that a nice stir. I'm also about to taste this sauce, y'all, just to make sure. Um, of course, you want to taste your sauce because you want to make sure. The season is, is to your liking. So let's give it a nice taste. Let me give me a spoon. So I want to make sure that it's all good in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Whoa, ho, ho. Whoa, ho. It got a kick to it. It got some smokiness to it. It got some flavor to it. It got some cheese to it. It is a bomb. It's gonna be real bomb once it's simmer and set. Okay, so what I'm also gonna do is let my few pieces of broccoli stem up in there too. Break that one up. That was a big one. Break this one up too. I'm going to let my broccoli simmer up in there too. Let that broccoli dance on in there. So I'm about to put the cover on here and I'm going to let that simmer on low and I will be back guys to show you guys the finished product. Peace. So here is the finished pasta you guys. Like I said, once it cooled down, that sauce was just going to thicken up nice and delicious. I want you guys to see that sauce. Nice and delicious. Meaty. Flavorful. There's your shrimp. And your sausage. And at the very end, what I did with those diced tomatoes you add those tomatoes at the very end. And that just gives it a good taste too. It gives it like a, some acidity. So here is my Cajun shrimp and sausage pasta, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Love you guys all and everybody. Stay safe and stay blessed.